I love tacos. I love chicken tacos, fish tacos, shrimp tacos, pork tacos. <sighs> but when it comes to the taco, I love barrier tacos. Recently, we made barrier tacos for parade. You can actually see that recipe below. What's a barrier taco? Basically, it's this braised meat. We use show, we use, we used some. Oh, look at this. Talk it out the side of me. Oh. Hello, everyone. Editor here. I don't have a lot of time before John finds out, but I'll give you the quick recap. Here we go. We start with short rib chuck roast, carrots, onion, and garlic. Throw that on a baking sheet with some salt, pepper, and a little bit of oil. Toss all that together in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, but halfway, you want to remove the garlic and turn everything else over. Now grab some beef stock, cumin powder, oregano, ancho, and guajillo chilies. Slam those into a pot. Cook these until the chilies have softened. In a blender, you want to shove all those roasted vegetables from before with the rehydrated chilies and some of that flavorful stock and blend until you have a nice sauce. Grab your favorite Instant Pot pressure cooker and gently place the roasted meat with some of the wonderful sauce. Let it cook for 40 minutes and then pull the meat out and shred it with a chainsaw or a fork and then add some of those cooked juices from the Instant Pot. And that's basically it. Now go find out what John's cooking up this time. We had some meat left over from making barrier tacos. So what I wanna do is just show you an alternative how to make this lovely taco. First thing we're gonna do is a little bit of oil into the pan. And what we're going to do is cook some onions and peppers. When we think about those Italian beef sandwiches in Chicago, you think about the peppers and the onions cooking. And we're gonna let this cook. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit higher but what I'm gonna do is actually add some water. Now you're gonna be thinking to yourself, now John, why are you adding some water? My whole goal when I'm caramelizing is to get as much water out as quick as possible. By adding water, it adds a steaming process. Adding some salt, which is gonna help draw out the water. And then we're gonna place a lid on this. When we come back in about five minutes time, you'll notice how that's wilted and now, the moisture is going to be dragged out of those peppers and onions. I'll see you in a momento. No, that's not Spanish. Oh, John. After about five minutes, you can see it's started to wilt. And as I mentioned, the whole goal is just to draw out the moisture. Whenever you caramelize onions, this is the best way to kickstart them. When we're cooking this, we want to have an even level by pressing it out and then about every minute, toss it around. This takes about 15 to 20 minutes to caramelize the onions and the peppers. And basically the natural sugars are gonna go lovely and sweet for this recipe. I don't know if you can see me, so it'll look like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm in here. You end up with some lovely caramelized onions and peppers. These are wonderful. You can just place these in the fridge for about five days. Absolutely delightful. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take some oil, brush it on some foil. Foil's gonna help us with easy cleanup. Now, remember, the first thing to touch your tongue is going to be the tortilla, not the filling. So we wanna make sure that's flavored. Take some garlic and rub some garlic. See the way I'm rubbing garlic on here? Just like when we make bruschetta, you know, the Italian bruschetta, we're gonna add some seasoning, some pepper. We want to make sure outside of it is seasoned, some salt. And it really makes a difference when you cook like this. We're gonna add some tortillas. Now I'm using some white tortillas because that's what we had left over. Um, but feel free to use some corn tortillas if you want to in your kitchen. I'm gonna brush the tops with a small amount of oil and this is gonna crisp up in the oven. What I'm looking for is this crispy taco, but with a barilla taco, you know, quite often it's a bit heavy. So with this one, it's a little bit lighter, but we're gonna capture some of the flavors. Now that we've got the tacos brushed, we're gonna take some Mexican cheese and we're just gonna place the cheese on. And as you can see, and this cheese is gonna melt beautifully. 
and feel free at home you could use some monterey jack as another good melting cheese as well okay we've got the cheese on there now that we've got the cheese next thing we want to do is take some of those peppers and onions you can take some of the peppers and onions which is going to have a beautiful sweetness to this peppers and onions fabulous now we're going to have some shredded beef so this is the beef that we use for the barrier tacos or you could use some for the barracuda you could use some shredded pork on here you could use shredded chicken remember just have fun in the kitchen that's what cooking's all about we're going to take these i've preheated whoa the forks just ran off okay um what we're going to do is take these and pop them in the oven 425 they're going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes next time you see these little beautifully beef tacos they're going to be crispy and then we're going to put some toppings on there oh yeah guacamole when they come out you can see the golden color on the tortilla the cheese is cooked the meat's got that little bit of char and this is sort of just one of those tacos that never lets you down the next stage what we're going to do is not mexican at all and it doesn't have to be borzan cheese if you don't want to use borzan you don't have to if you want to you could have burri cheese cooking is about you in your kitchen it's about you having fun i love borzan cheese fresh onion white onion whenever you chop white onion give it a washing because that'll get rid of some of that sulfur you want the crispness from the onion but you don't want that harsh taste so just by taking it and doing that and then we're going to add some guacamole i love guacamole we have a recipe for guacamole below uh, a nice chunky guacamole placing a dollop of that on top now you've got the creaminess you've got the crunchiness you've got that silky balls and cheese hey you get in my belly i'm gonna add some fresh cilantro do you like that cilantro cilantro and then finally but finally but finally i promise finally Grab yourself some lime and a squeeze of fresh lime juice and that gives it such brightness you can also serve it with some lime wedges but just a squeeze and there you have it my favorite tacos that i love to make with leftover shredded meat pork goat chicken pork goat chicken lamb anything you want it's all about you this taco i guarantee you, my friends just look at the tortilla look how crispy that is isn't it beautiful Ooh, that sounds like halloween this is john from the future i forgot i forgot i forgot a silly sausage i just stuffed my face with the taco i was too excited parmesan cheese put some parmesan cheese that's just going to up the umami some parmesan cheese on there i know i know i know it's italian and i know tacos are mexican you don't have to tell me i already knew that there's a method to the madness hey if you enjoyed today's segment they keep on telling me what's that what's that please subscribe also if you really enjoyed it feel free to share it it's all about making the world a better place if i can make you laugh that's fantastic if i can get you in the kitchen making one of the best tacos you've ever had in your life Ooh. then it's been a better day see you next time everybody cheerio for now